Hi, this is Armando with the Boxing Corner, talking about a fight that happened not too long ago. It was on Showtime, or Showbox. It was a triple header. Uh, it was Andre Lara versus Freddie Hernandez, Gary Russell Jr. versus Chris Perez, and uh, K-9 versus uh, Corey Spinks. Uh, but I'm going to talk about the first two fights, and then talk about the, the Spinks and uh, K-9 fight in a different video. Possibly. Lara, he's uh, <coughs> he's got some great boxing skill. He's a he's a guy that's kind of like a boxer puncher. He's got a lot of power in his punches. You can tell. I seen his fight with Carlos Molina. I seen his fight with Paul Williams, Ronald Hearns, and now with uh, Freddie Hernandez. Last time I heard of Freddie Hernandez, he won or he lost to Andre Berto in a first round knockout, which had me thinking, damn, like this guy. HBO sure is um kissing uh they're, they're pretty much letting Berto fight pretty much anybody uh they can pretty much find not the case uh today Freddie Hernandez fought a very competitive fight sure he lost the fight but he fought a very competitive fight from the get go you can tell Laura like I said is a, a lot better of a, of a boxing uh overall uh he's got a lot of power you can tell Freddie uh more I want to say basic but more just traditional boxing uh, he's um, he's got that little Mexican in him though. Uh, he likes to slug it out, but Laura um, obviously he he's a pure boxer, a boxer puncher. So just tonight was his night. Regardless, um, for the most part, um, Laura had the fight. For the most part, um, the sixth round got ugly where Freddie was headbutted and he got a cut. Um, seventh round, Lara was inducted a point for kind of doing this little, like, little butt with two little punches on the side, and I'm like, what the fuck, you know, what is that, but, um, like I said, overall, it was, it was pretty much, uh, a Lara, I wouldn't say a domination, because Freddie, like I said, was in the fight, but he, f he lost the fight, um, I gave it, um, what was it, uh, eight to two for, for Lara, Laura just controlled the fight from the get go. He, it, it it really was uh, his fight uh, for the taking. Um, scorecards: 95-94 for Laura, 98-91 Laura, and 99 to 90 uh, for Laura. I had it uh, 98. I had well, I had it eight rounds to uh, to two for uh, for Laura. Um, like I said, Laura was deducted a point, um, but that 95-94 was, was complete garbage. I don't know how anybody would have scored uh, Laura winning uh, by one point over Freddie Hernandez. But regardless, um, Laura needs Laura is definitely ready for for the big fights for anybody at 154. Um, he's not mentioned to fight Alvarez. Um, I think if Laura and Alvarez were to fight, it'd be similar to like the Cotto and Mosley, where it's kind of like two boxer punchers. And I think it'd be pretty exciting to see that fight uh, go down. Um, I I don't know why they don't want to put them together. I mean, he's 16-1-1. One one. He got the draw with Molina. He got the uh, the horrible decision against Williams, and uh, I think two or three round no first round knockout of uh, Ronald Hearns. Um, they're part of, both are part of Golden Boy, but for some reason they don't want to make that fight happen. So, fucking who knows. Um, Chris Perez versus uh, Gary Russell Jr. Featherweight. Russell Jr. is uh, a guy that um, is heavily, you know, being shopped around to the HBOs and the Showtimes. Um, this is like, I think my second time seeing him fight, or third time, one of the two. Uh, ridiculously skilled, super fast. He kind of fights like a he he throws his throwing is similar to a, a cobra striking. It's just ridiculously like fast. You know he fucking hits you fast without you seeing it. Um, it was pretty much a shutout for Russell. Um, he scored a, a knockdown in the second round and he scored three knockdowns in the third round and that was pretty much it. Um, Perez he had the heart to he had the willingness to fight but. When you got somebody like Gary Russell, <coughs> who's ridiculously talented, against a more, um, uh, you got a guy who's really polished, and a guy who's um, a good fighter. You know, you, you get a Adrian Broner, 
against, you know, some average, you know, fighter. You know, this is his first time coming out. Um, this Chris Perez guy it looks like he'd be tough for anybody, but against uh, Gary Russell, who's just ridiculously uh, fast. Um, he never really, um, I want to say he never stood a chance, but it's just very difficult to look good against somebody who who's literally punching you without you even seeing the damn punches. But th that's pretty much it. Um, Gary Russell's a, a, as they say, a hot new prospect. Um, I think he needs to start stepping up and find somebody a little bit better. He's got the skill. He just needs to move up and uh, fight somebody instead of fighting. Um, he needs to just a name quality fighters um, for the most part. But well, they're moving along, you know, little by little. So you'll you'll see him more often now. Uh, well, you already seen him now, but you're gonna see him every two or three months on these undercards. But for the most part, it's a good night of boxing. Um, I don't feel like talking about the canine and uh, the the um, canine and Sphinx fight. I'll I'll probably do a video in the morning for that. Um, but anyways, that's that's it for for tonight. Um, this is Armando with the boxing corner, and uh, I'll see you next time.